Hello everyone, this is Alan from GoThrough, the best 360 platform for publishing virtual tours to Google Street View. In today's vid uh, video, we're gonna explain you how to shoot and then connect and publish to Google Street View with an Insta360 RS one inch. Now, there are two cases here where uh, we can have a photographer shooting a business or we can have the business owner shooting the business. As a photographer, you would like to invest in a 360 camera and then sell the virtual tours to businesses to improve their uh, search engine optimization for the Google map page and uh, yeah, make a, a, your own business and be your own boss. So that's one case. And then we have another case when the business owner is buying a 360 camera and then they want to shoot their own location and then they can use the camera for other location if they have a multiple location uh, or vacation um, images like and publish the images to Panora. Panora is a 360 app also built by GoThrough uh, and it's amazing for uh, vacations. So when shooting uh, on location there are a few steps that we have to, to keep in mind. One, we have to have the door open because between the images, it has to be a clear path. Now, we're gonna take the camera and we're gonna move to about four to five meters from the front of the business because we need to have a bit of perspective between the camera and the front. The reason for the perspective is that Google needs that distance when selecting the first panel of the image. So we're just gonna put the camera here and we're gonna turn it on and activate it. Now, being a 360 camera, we cannot stay in the uh, field of view of the camera, so we have to take a photo and uh, put it on the timer and move. Now, the way I set up this camera right now, I put it on the HDR. So it's HDR photo, it's not video. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and trigger the camera. It's gonna trigger in five seconds. And then we move to the next step. Then the next step would be in front of the store where we have the open hours um, and important information for anyone that is uh, visiting the Google My Business page, they will see the, the hours. Now for the door, you can have a door stopper with you. But if you don't, usually if you have one, you're gonna lose it. But if you don't uh, use a or a piece of paper that you fold and it, it will work pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and take the next photo. And when we have a door, we have to take a photo one meter in front of the door and one meter after the door. So we're gonna head, take the, this next photo. Now, because we have to take a clear path between the images, we always gonna look to shoot in uh, 90 degree angles. So from that point, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna shoot this one. And I'm always hiding. And then moving to the next one. Now, it is important to shoot in the line of sight because also go through is working on auto connecting the images and when you uh, 
work with the moderator or use the auto connect this will help you uh, easily connect the panoramas okay so now we're gonna go and take another 360 here One important feature when shooting 360 is the light outside and the light we are seeing through the window. In this particular case, uh, at this hour, we have a bit of a shadow. So it's, it's not a bright sun in, into the window and uh, that's help us for taking the photos. But if you have a really harsh sun going through the window that will be a bit more difficult so if you can schedule the photo shoot in a cloudy day or um, yeah, make sure like you come early in the morning or in the evening that will give you the uh, a better uh, colors between outside and inside another important thing is to make sure we hide all the um, garbage bin I, and if you shoot inside like in the bathroom to close the lid of the, uh, the toilet so we're gonna hide these before taking the photo And this would be my last panel, which will connect with the panel that I've shot in that uh, corner. So this would be the basics of shooting the 360 virtual tour. And then the next video will explain you how to download the images from the camera and then connect them using the go through uh, street editor and then publish them to Google using go through.